I'm singing in the rain. I'm just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. He's happy again. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction TV. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. It's the Rob and Twitter. It's so juicy. You have created your own language. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Any old who. Uh, any old who. From who, Bill? Okay. Hmm? What? What? No, me either. Uh, today we're reacting to something called The Spirit of Cricket, India. Okay. Yeah. This is a song? This is a no, no. Is a... Read... What do you... What is going on? I don't know. Me either. Uh, read this up to... Here. In January 2020, I traveled through India. I hope... Okay, I'm just... You were there too. Not... not oh yeah, it's 2021. I traveled through India visiting the... the um, Ovals and maidens of Mumbai and the back streets of Calcutta. Hey, hey if you were there. We may have been there at the same time. Uh, enjoying local roadside matches on the way. I discovered a game out in the desert, met a team of cricketing monks, played cricket with kids by a river, and was clean bowled on the beach at Juhu. I met Sachin and Dravid and the blind and physically challenged cricketers who totally inspired me along catching up with the youngest and oldest cricketers and the first girls cricket academy and much more. Cool. So went on a journey and looking around at just how cricket permeates the India. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. And I, t I saw and it was everywhere. Like I remember walking around in Calcutta with Indrani. There's kids playing cricket in the street. There's kids playing kick cricket in the park. There's a league happening on a field. Also, it was everywhere. Similar. I clean bowled your mom. You did. <laughs> she told me about it. Here we go. Maybe wow. Steve Wow. Maybe. Wow. I've always wanted to one day be able to get off the bus, just walk out the streets and take the shots I've always wanted to take. Yep. Capturing the attitude and mood is what photography is all about. In the past, I just saw a scene and thought, that's great, I'll take the photo. But now I can see, you know, what makes a great photo. There's got to be a few different elements to it. You've got the foreground, the middle, and the background. Trying to match those up, just seeing things in a different way. So I don't know where to look. There's so many games going on. I can't believe people don't get cleaned up. There's balls flying everywhere, but everyone seems to know what's going on. Ah. Point of view, I'll do anything for cricket. Like Steve Brown is standing in front of me, I'll show him my every talent. That's what I have. Whoa! Give me that stuff. Very pure the game. Maybe. They love playing the game of cricket. It's just a bat and ball. They make their own stumps out of whatever they can find. But they've got the love of the game. And nice. I've never been able to actually take a photograph of that until this trip. And that's where the idea comes from. Just get out there, get amongst it. <laughs> what is the spirit of cricket? Why is cricket a religion in India? Oh wow. Whoa. Wow, nice. I don't even know what that was. He kind of released it. Yeah, backwards. Hey! What? Who's in the mind, eh? Who's that? Why don't I know that? I don't know. Who is it? Just take yourself to everybody. Oh, one of, one of the two. <laughs> How do you know if he's going to bowl it slow or quick? 
You don't know. Yes, yes, yes. But I am. Um, you just listen to it. And listen. It's a tough game, blind me. I think it's probably oh, you're blind. Oh, you're blind. Whoa! What are you doing, Jack? Yeah, the young boy, the uh, three year old prodigy. Um, <laughs> look, he's no doubt he's got incredible hand eye for <laughs> He's definitely going to work on his uh, temperament and concentration, but any three-year-old after a couple of minutes is going to lose lose focus. Yeah. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the laugh. Monks play three. That was Corbin as a kid. Yep. Yeah. And with the, uh, the Himalayas as a backdrop. Dang. I'm amazed by their skill. Wow. Like, their, their toughness. I mean, they were playing on basically a pitch that was up and down and undulating and terrible for batting. And they started playing with hot, rock hard cricket balls and thinking, someone is going to get seriously hurt here. If there's one of us, maybe carried carry it up on you. Whoa! That's freaking awesome. That's impressive. They call it disabled cricket, that's the wrong name. I mean, they were enabled in every way. It was almost like they were doing high jump or pole ball and then they were bowling a ball. It was, it was pure artistry and beauty the way they were bowling. That's awesome. Yeah, I loved uh, interacting with the golf cricketers up at Dharamsala, um, the first women's cricket academy in India. Wanting knowledge, they're thirsty to gain knowledge. And you know, when, when people like that, you can't help but give back. And I really enjoyed going out in the middle, uh, talking to the captains, getting in their head how they were thinking and trying to change their attitude a bit to be a bit more aggressive. When they haven't got much, that is the spirit of the game, the spirit of cricket is that quest to get better. That more factor to me was all that teamwork and knowing your job and your role because everyone was, it was a, it was a confined space, there was a lot of people, but whatever was in front of them, they did it to the best of their ability, then they moved on to the next task. And um, to see them operate and to see the products they were producing was, was world class. That'd be so fun to watch. I wanted to know what they the it? Yeah, yeah, right from the very beginning to the end, I would love, love to watch that. that. Who's your favourite players? Steve Ball? Yes, good answer. Well done, mate. Well said. Donnie! 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 Cricket is a religion in India, and that's what I wanted to try and capture through the lens. I think um, coming back has just reinforced it because you know, whilst you see IPL and the guys making millions of dollars and the razzmatazz and and the adulation and the, and the love from the fans. But when you get down to ground level, nothing's really changed. Um, and a lot of people have got very little um, material possessions or wealth, but when they get oh. playing down <laughs> field, everyone is equal. It doesn't matter who you are. Once you step out of the field, um, you're all equal and uh, you can achieve great things and you can, On the you can sand. do things to yourself. You can enjoy experiences with Look your on. friends. Um, yeah. You can create memories together. So cricket to me, uh, is a great leveller and the spirit of cricket is going out onto the streets or onto the parks and seeing kids just make up a game with a plastic bat and a ball and uh, have the bricks for the stumps and just see how good they can be. That is the spirit of cricket. That was, that was cool. Great video. Is, is he a cricketer? No idea. I think no, he's a, just a photographer. He's a photographer? Yeah. I didn't know. Who wanted to document that. But yeah, that was super cool, and yeah, everything you said was, which is what we've experienced of going to the All Legends game mm -hmm. and and that atmosphere, and that wasn't even like a, a real real game, right? Uh, and then obviously just the love that people just have for the game. Yeah. It's, I mean, I guess the only equivalent we have here is is NFL. Currently, it, what that reminded me of was uh, in American sports history the sport that would be closest to cricket, and I don't mean this by rules and playing, I just mean the, adu the, the adulation and the embrace of it as yeah. a country, yeah. is when baseball, around the turn of the century, in the 20th century, when it, from the late 1800s mm -hmm. until the 1970s, yeah, and especially from just before the Great Depression through World War II and into the 50s and 60s, that's the heyday where, that's why it was called America's Pastime. Yeah. You could say that baseball at that time was America's sport religion. Absolutely. Everybody played it. They were playing it on military bases. They were playing it in the streets and the parks. And then in the 70s, 
football came around and the NBA came around. So we don't have a singular sport. Yes. Yeah. That's NFL is definitely the giant it's, right now. The NFL is the giant now. But even yeah. NFL, it's the closest I've ever seen in American history to the way they love a sport is the way baseball was loved back in the early and mid 20th century. I guess it's still not to the level that and soccer it's not, is to the world. Yeah. But even nothing, that. Nothing is, though. But even that, because no. you know better than I do, that Indians' love for cricket isn't like anything I've ever heard about in terms of other people's love for football around the no, world. No, that is. It's it's so it, for other people it is a religion the way yes. it is for in, for Indians is for cricket. Uh huh. All, I know, like all over the world, in, really outside of the United States, really all over the world. Oh, sorry, in terms of England with their English Premier League, sure. In terms of South America, I knew South America, Brazil especially, Brazil, even China, India as well. Actually, has a, yeah. a football team that they they like a lot. But yeah, it's the most popular sport in the world for a reason, and, and, and I, people are like. They they get violent, but they're passionate. I, I, it's that way also in Papua New Guinea and Australia for rugby. Yeah. I, I I was introduced to and appreciated rugby for the first time when I went to Papua New Guinea because they had a big game going on at the time and the whole nation yeah. just shut down to watch the rugby game. Yep, yeah. and uh, that's that's how it is. Uh, we just we don't have. I mean, like I said, NFL is probably the, the closest. It we is. Have Super in terms Bowl of, Sunday. The passion people have for teams currently, yeah. unless yeah. you're going to like playoff baseball and it's Red Sox Yankees, yeah, that's the best rivalry in all of in the American all of sports. Sports is yeah. to see the Yankees and the Red Sox play each other. Is um, pinnacle. But in terms of just current excitement and and just how big the league is, mm -hmm. it's the NFL. But nothing touches even cricket level, and nothing definitely touches soccer level. Uh, I've talked to a bunch of you guys because you guys know I'm a Man U fan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, for a couple seasons now. Uh, <laughs> but for the history, we're basically the Yankees. Right. Of, of the football. soccer world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, we've just... Even I know that, and I don't follow the sport. <laughs> and I know that. Um, but anyways, yeah, this was great. Lovely video. I would still love... A, and sadly, we probably would have done it already. But I would have had like a media up with a bunch of L.A. Stupid Babies. And we would have played a full game because we still have yet to do that, and I want to. And oh. I think it'd be really fun to just like it would. have a group of however many people you need. Okay, so let's just say it right now. Game. Let's just say right now on the next trip, yeah. let's make sure we organize because well, of all the places, that's where I'd like to do it. I'd like to play a full game we, in a park in we India. Were, we were supposed to, but we got kicked out, and it was right after a right. riots happened in Delhi. Right. Um, so uh, <laughs> we, could, we could pull it off. I'm sure the stupid babies in Mumbai could get a park. Absolutely. We could get people together and we could play a legit game of cricket in Mumbai. Absolutely. Yeah. With Ranveer. Yeah. My best friend. Yeah, they're best friends now in case <laughs> Apparently he's watching like a hawk. He watches us like a we, hawk. We see you, Ranveer. See you, brother. <laughs> Look <laughs> <laughs>